Welcome to this MRI patient education videotape. Your physician has ordered an MRI medication condition. What is MRI? MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging, and for the next few minutes, we'll discuss the MRI examination. You'll see some of the remarkable images produced by this type of medical imaging exam. These are MR images of the brain. They're astoundingly clear and detailed. Here, in addition to the brain, we can see the spinal cord, sinuses, teeth, and even the blood vessels. Just what makes MRI so different from other medical imaging techniques, such as conventional x-rays and computed tomography, known as CT scans? And under what circumstances is MRI the preferred imaging technique? Let's see. X-ray devices are generally used to take projection images of hard tissues like bones. CT scans take images of both hard bony tissues and soft tissue, such as the brain. Both X-ray and CT systems use X-ray beams, which travel through the body and project an image onto a photographic film or display it on a video monitor. MRI, on the other hand, works differently. MRI uses a magnetic field to orient the position of certain nuclei in the body. The primary nuclei used for MRI imaging is in the hydrogen atom, called a proton. As you know, the body is made up of approximately 75% water. Water is two parts hydrogen, making the nucleus of the hydrogen atom, the proton, the most abundant in the human body. A radio wave is then used to excite the proton, which resonate and emit varying signals, which are received, digitized, and displayed as images. Different signals admitted by different body tissues are then used to differentiate individual anatomy. When tissue is damaged, its composition changes and gives off an uncharacteristic signal. So when displayed, that damaged tissue is distinguishable from surrounding healthy tissue. Once again, it's important to point out that MRI utilizes magnetic fields and radio waves. Patients are not exposed to X-rays or other ionizing radiation. On the day of your examination, it's a good idea to arrive a little early in order to complete your patient information records and to allow for a pre-examination screening. At this time, you may be asked some questions to make sure that you are eligible to undergo the MRI examination. For instance, patients with metallic foreign bodies or surgically implanted devices like cardiac pacemakers and aneurysm clips are not eligible these devices may be adversely affected by the magnetic field. Objects containing ferrous metals will also interfere with obtaining a good MR image. Therefore, it's advisable to wear a sweatsuit, clothes without zippers, snaps, or buckles, or garments provided by the imaging facility. To improve the image quality, particularly when examining the head, knee, or spine, a device called a coil is used. It operates just like an antenna to improve the signal reception. It's also possible that you may require an injection of contrast to enhance the distinction between certain tissues. This contrast is specific for MR imaging and is different from that used for CT and X-ray examinations. The need for this contrast will depend on the type of MR exam your physician has prescribed. The MRI exam generally takes between 20 minutes and one hour. During this time, a series of images will be taken. Each set of images requires several minutes to complete. An intercom system keeps you in two-way communication with the trained medical professional performing your exam, the MRI technologist. How are you doing in there? I'm doing good. <laughs> it is very important that you remain still while the images are being acquired. You'll know that an image is being acquired when you hear a knocking sound. You may relax when the machine is not making the knocking sound, but you must remain in the initial position unless you are instructed otherwise. If you move during the procedure, it may be necessary to repeat the exam. Although the MRI exam is painless, it does require you to remain still until the exam is complete. Patients often try to nap. Mr. Smith enjoys golfing a lot. Perhaps he's thinking about his favorite course, concentrating on how relaxed he feels when he's playing. Think about something you enjoy doing. It really helps. Once complete, 
Your magnetic resonance images will be processed and sent to your physician, who will discuss the results with you. Hopefully, spending these few minutes learning about magnetic resonance imaging has prepared you for your examination. However, should you have any questions, your physician or the imaging professionals at the MRI facility will be happy to answer them for you. So relax and have a good exam.